everyone, Jackie Ding here. Welcome to Grill Life Rev Up at Gingerman. It is frigid, it is cold, it's like 40 something degrees and nobody brought a big jacket except your boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm freezing behind the camera. Al the Alan is freezing behind the camera. But anyways, we're out with the M2 and we'll be competing in Time Attack this weekend. But I really want to show you something because this lineup of cars that we've got is the best the PhD has ever had. And we're really happy because, you know, this is the track where, you know, like I started. This is the track where I started with, with Grid Life. It's not my very first Grid Life, but this is where I came for so many times. And we built this slowly, year by year, car by car. And now this whole entire road that you see in front of you is all Team PhD. And that was something that is like, we put everything together and it's just awesome to see. So first off, you have cameraman Alan Keys, <laughs> FD, uh, that we helped put together uh, on 285 CRS doing street mod this weekend. Hoping to get, what's the goal, Alan? 35. 35s. You know the M2? You know all about it. Uh, we've done a bucket seat lately and an anti-gravity uh, battery as well as Titan 7 wheels and that's kind of it. We'll be running on the Cup 2 this weekend, so stay tuned for that. We have Xander's S2000 doing HPDE. We helped prep this kind of thing a little bit over the last couple years. Jasper's BRZ is not here. This is Kyle's Supra. TA90 almost a, like a replica build. This thing's been on the podium at Super Lap Battle Street Class, finishing second place, one two finish with us. And then just last weekend, well, I went to a CMP with Grid Life and uh, finished fifth. Kyle, right here. Kyle, want to say hi? Say hi to the camera. And then Red Atlanta Limited Class P1. So congratulations. I get bumped out of my class so I don't have to compete with Jackie and then I can win something. So, you know. It's why we retired the Super. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's green, bright green. Very lovely. What is this green color called? Do you know? Uh, I think Python, 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 Python yeah. green. He sold that car, <laughs> his old yellow Supra that we helped build to buy this. And you know, not a bad deal. Next is, this is Wilbur's new yellow Supra in street mod. We've done a little bit of mods to it. Uh, the spade wing is gone and now replaced with a Verse UCW at the back. And it's got a high downforce Verse glitter as well but still very much kind of last time we saw it. And we still, you know, we miss this thing because we put a lot of a love and you know, effort into this one. Matt Simpkins, Yardy Motorsport PhD Racing, GR Supra for Street Mod. This thing was that Super Lab battle with us. Unfortunately, got bumped to limited class for having three ways instead of two. This is now on two way. Um, MCS guys helped adjust it. So now it's fully legal for the class. We're excited to see how Matt does this year, uh, both in grid life and also a little bit more SCCA time trial nationals tour stuff as well. Awesome little car. Spage hood at the front too. Really, really freaking pretty. Alan's good friend James brought out this thing from Philadelphia for his internship in Schaumburg, Illinois. <laughs> Who brings a 992 GT3 on an internship? But okay, so here it is. Uh, Bone stock on PCCB, uh, doing some track days, and he's he's been tracking it as well. It's a it's a damn cool car. We got to drive it just a little bit just a little bit and it's cool it's cool and you know Alex is just like slowly drooling behind the camera <laughs> he wants one really bad we did a poll on Instagram and nobody wanted his top 91 top <laughs> 2 anymore everybody wants this one another Grid Life Street GT competitor and winner Brandon PhD Racing Supra this one actually won a Grid Life CMP uh, almost having the track record but doing it on the last session during the podium sprint it was freaking awesome we're here to support Brandon we're here to help him succeed and it's it's he's a local friend and it's just awesome seeing him compete this weekend as well you may not recognize this car but phil was with us a couple of events all through last year and at Watkins Glen when the rain was pouring and everybody's having issues with street mod phil in a na na 350z got onto the podium of street mod it was insane it was cataclysmic it, it was awesome so congrats to phil newest podium finisher in uh, uh in grid life for phu racing and uh, we're super happy to be able to support him as well. I mean, in, when the rain comes, that's when the condition really falls and you know, you have to be able to put it on the spot. Our friend Andrew has his S2000 for uh, light HPDE, kind of a reliable build, HPDE kit build, maybe slowly time attack later and even has case swap on his mind for if the engine blows up. But uh, yeah, that concludes our, I don't know, 13 car lineup at PHG Racing, 13. Fuck, I remember it was back in the day, it was just like two. That's crazy. That's, it, it, it's really cool to see how the how the team progressed, you know? And uh, we're only gonna go up from here, so let's go have a good weekend.
fucking ran into fucking low fuel mode. Jesus. Fuck, we had a decent run too. We had a really decent lap too. Session one over. First off, we ran out of fuel right at the end. I was trying to just stay on track until the track clears up and give it one good go and then <laughs> we ran out of fuel by seven and the car threw me in a hard lip mode so uh uh thanks to the car i thanks to the car i can make it back to the pits but thanks to the car i also got no lap time uh maybe i would have been happier if i crossed the line and they just stalled <laughs> then i'm uh, not but uh, thank you bmw for saving me uh all things considered the session went okay it's just we had one hot lap and the tires were just not awake by lap one by like lap six or seven like it was better the cup twos were finally heating up and they're getting energy into them and you can like feel it better but yeah uh, speaking to Volko the CA who, who you know passes on the lap quite handily the car is just not able to grip up right now like it just won't hook it is warming up a little bit and that's gonna help so uh try again you join us as we try to uh, dial in a little bit more camber uh, basically we're getting to a point where the car is struggling on these cup twos uh, you can tell uh, that there's a lot of shoulder wear in the middle the middle belt if you look really carefully it's like triangle right here as it's like really punishing the outside shoulder we're gonna up all the camber that we've got we're up into the maximum that we can do which is around I think maybe around negative 2.8 2.9 uh, from around 2.3 so half a degree of cam uh, camber isn't gonna change the fact that the car weighs almost 3,800 pounds or well, over 3,800 pounds of width my fat belly uh but it helps every little bit is going to help and we're about half a, we're about a second and a half away from the leader in street uh, street gt honestly vocals uh ca is a little bit harder to catch this weekend alex is telling me you know remember this is a development car you know you're we're not supposed we're not you know we're not on the best tires yet we're not on a lot of stuff yet we're just supposed to learn about the car yeah but we're here to try to win man like we're not trying to get the finish second place you know we got to try and push everything we got so i'm gonna i'm gonna give my best shot so Thank you, Alex. I don't get paid enough for this shit.
lot of times we did. Uh, hopefully that was a 38 of some sorts. I don't know. If it's a 39, I'll be really upset. It felt okay. Felt like, yeah, I don't know. Alan fucked it, which is great. Good job, Alan. You know? <laughs> you join us Sunday morning. This is the good one. This is the fast one. Go fast day. Uh, yesterday actually didn't go quite to plan, but I did find some interesting experiments. The M2 seem, at least seems to me, when I mean, you turn the M traction control all the way to zero, the car doesn't fight you as much. It also becomes a hilarious oversteering beast that you have to somehow keep in line. So uh, we, we, there was a couple of occasions where like, even like just trying to put the power down, the car goes into a full drift mode and it's quite fun. But there's a surprising amount of traction if you manage the throttle pedal right. We are currently off the podium though. We got bumped by the yellow 718 of Kyle and also the green SS10E of uh, our buddy Keenan. So we're fourth in Street GT, which is not, which is not particularly great. It's even more awesome that our customer Brandon in the blue and, uh, blue and black Supra is sitting fifth, 0 0.1 behind us. And then our friend Jerry in the in the green GT4 is another, not even kidding, 0. Point, 0. 0.08 behind Brandon. So like everybody is super tight, super close. We're talking like second to sixth place, all within like half a second. And it's crazy. It's gonna be a huge battle this morning. The podium's gonna be all shuffled and it's all about who goes the quickest. So see if we can find some time. Even upset <laughs> if we did 37 9 38 0 37 8 38 37 9 over and over and over and over and over again i think we might just be at where the what, like, what the car's got right now you know it might just be like the absolute limit of whatever the car's got and you know in this trim it, with this tire with this power with this everything is just that is just what it has you know I got my new hat on and uh, that's us done, packed in the trailer and the M2 has survived for life, Gingerman rev up. Uh, it's a hard fought weekend. Uh, I think we, 37, 37s is respectable for the car for, for the level of prep that it has, you know, you can see the brake dust from the factory, uh, from the factory uh, brakes and all that. It's it's done very admirably, I think. Uh, we need more front grip, more rear grip. We need more tire, we need more brake. We, like like at a track where it's like 30, 100 pounds, Jerry is in the background. Jerry's in the background, like like just straight up, like, yeah, 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 gloating, gloating. This is the closest we've been. Like we, we were like a 10th. Uh, it's, like, yeah, like, it's like that. That's how much I'm quicker than you. <laughs> no, but like it was between me, Brandon and Jerry, we were, four five six in a in a street gt and it was a super close battle and then if i had another half a second we would have gotten on the podium for sure but like it's just the condition wasn't in our favor and i don't think i could have squeezed much more out of the m2 uh without tire upgrades with a little more suspension upgrades without driver upgrade the gingerman didn't suit the car as much as uh watkins glen where you're high speed flowing 
you can trust the car a lot more. It's more about directional changes than like long duration corners waiting for the nose to come around. I tried a couple of different ways of driving the car, even like braking really late, trail braking, or like brake early and just let the front turn. Like every, almost like every solution I do, I we end up arriving at basically the same lap time. So I feel like that's just the natural limit of the car. Uh, the one thing that time didn't quantify as much was how comfortable behind the wheel I got. Uh, even just with a bucket seat without a proper harness, I was able to slide the car around pretty well. And I felt really comfortable with, thr with throwing it around. And that was huge for driver confidence, for being able to push on the limit. Uh, so I think we'll do a four point uh, anti-submarine main belt. Uh, so, uh, and that's gonna help us even more. Tires, we have ideas. I want more front grip. Uh, if I if the nose can come around better, I can manage traction. That's no issue. We have the M traction control. It works really well as well. I can always manage the throttle and all that, but you can't manage understeer. It's so hard to manage understeer. So the maximum yaw rate that we get, like how quick the car can turn through a corner, that's the limitation on the M2 right now, even though it has a big front subframe and all that. And the camber is like, you can tell it's pretty decent camber right now. It's probably close to three degrees. I'm really happy with the progress we made this weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you. Jerry for keeping me honest all weekend. M2 is gonna see some mods. We're gonna come back even stronger and maybe go for that 36. So that'll be the plan. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, see you all next time.